Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katie and in today's video we are going to be looking at my 2019 back to school pencil case. So this is the Lihit Lab case in black and I've been using this for two years now and it's really good quality and nothing has broken, nothing has ripped. And I also put these pins on top of it. This one's from Japan. This one's from my cousin. I have no idea where she got it. And these three are from AliExpress. So this little chunky boy right here has a bunch of space to put things. Like in the front, there are two little pockets. And I usually put sticky notes. As you can see in the front, these are just your normal post-it notes. I use them all the time during school to mark pages in my textbook or just write little notes in case I forget something. The pocket on the left is a little smaller, so I just put some binder clips on it in case I ever need them for school. So moving on to the inside of my pencil bag, if you unzip it, the pencil case actually opens up like a book and there are three different sections, but usually I just keep my pencils not tucked into any of them because it's a lot easier to take them out because I use them the most often. Moving on to the rest of my pencil case, there are four sections. This one's for my pens, this one's for my mod liners. Over here, there are three little pockets for some sticky notes. And finally, this little back pocket for my super tips. So moving back to the first pocket, this is my most used pens pocket. And this very first pen is a Uni Jetstream pen. It is in 0.5, it's black. I use this mostly for my essays because the ink is really smooth and it's like between a ballpoint pen and a gel pen. Next is the Zebra Sarasa clip pen in pink and 0.5. I always make sure to carry at least one or two colored pens in case I ever need to check my homework or write little headers. So I also have this white jelly roll pen which I use solely for the purpose of writing aesthetic notes. So I'm going to insert a little image here of what I use it for. Another pen that I feel like I'm going to be using a lot this school year is this Muji retractable pen in purple. And as I said, colored pens are really useful for writing notes and checking homework. And this is their new, like, style, I guess? I don't know. Muji, what you doing? And then next, I have this Pilot G2 pen in 0.5. Usually I use 0.7, but I'm going to try transitioning to 0.5. I also have the older Muji pens, the one with the traditional cap, and I use these to write notes because they're really smooth, and I'm pretty sure those are in 0.5. I also have this Pentel Sign Brush pen. This one is in blue, and it has a very short and flexible nib, as you can see. If it will focus, probably not, but it's really good and I use these for my headers. Last but not least is this black brush pen by Sipa slash Sipa, something like that. This is the one with the largest nib. Oh, I also forgot to mention that the pencil's from AliExpress and the eraser is just a normal high polymer plastic eraser. On the right are my mild liners. I actually don't use all of the colors, they just look really pretty, so I just put it there. You know, it's all for the aesthetics. And the mild liners, they have two tips. On the first one, there is a chisel tip, which makes it perfect for highlighting and, you know, sometimes coloring. Depends on what you use it for. And on the other side is a bullet nib for writing. Moving on to the back of my pencil case, this is where the three little dividers are. I put my sticky notes here. These are from Daiso, they're really cute. And these are just some normal post-it ones. I mean, they're not as cute, but like, they're okay. Finally, in the back are my Crayola Super Tips and some little Stabilo Fine Liners. Um, it's really important that I have some markers and stuff so I can do my headers and also do some assignments that require coloring. So yeah, that was my 2019 back to school pencil case tour. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to be making some more back to school videos because school's starting soon. And I need to capitalize on the fact that it is because something good should come out of it besides pain and torture. So 
I hope you're excited for some more videos. Okay, bye.